In this video we will learn how to make one of our request parameters or both of them optional or have a default value. In our get users method, for example, we have defined two request parameters and then when we send a HTTP request and we miss one of the request parameters do not provide its value, then our HTTP request fails with the status code 400 bad request. Now let's go back to our REST controller and here where we defined request parameters for the one that we want to have optional right after the value we will add one more option here which is called default value and then equals and then one for the page for example so this will make our page request parameter optional because it will assign default value of one to the page method argument if the request parameter is not provided now let's provide the default value for the limit, let's say 50, and try sending this HTTP request. So I'll restart my application and I will go to Postman and I'll send it again. Okay, so we have a response, get users were called with page equal to 1 and limit equal to 50. And notice I did not provide the limit query stream request parameter. Now if I provide it, let's say limit equals not 50 but let's say 25 and send it I'll get a new value here 25 now there is another way how to make your request parameters optional and if I go back to my REST controller here where we provide value and default value we can use the required option like this required equals false which will make this request parameter optional but it doesn't work very well with primitive data types because if we delete the default value to make it optional and have page not initialized then we will have an error because page is primitive data type and then primitive data types if they are not initialized they cannot be converted to null so if I run my application with this change and send the HTTP request I should get an error so let's switch back to postman and send this request again here we go, we get an error message because optional integer uh, parameter page is present but cannot be translated into null. So for this to work, well, the required should be used mostly with request parameters that are string rather than integer values. Let's for example uh, return back default value for page request parameter. Let's delete this required false and let's add one more request parameter, uh, let's say ordering. So I will copy this, paste it here and then instead of limit I will use sort and then I will remove default value and then I will use required equals false and this is going to be string and this is going to be sort. Now let me run my application with this change and see how it works. So I'll go back to Postman and I'll put back page equals 1 and then limit equals 25 and then send it. It works. Now let's print out sort value and see how it looks and sort equals sort like this. I'm restarting my application and then I will switch to Postman and hit the send button one more time. Now the sort value is now now. So if you declare query string request parameters as optional, if you provide required equals false, then in your code with if else statement, you have to handle these situations because we know that in Java, if an object has not been initialized and you try to access it, you will get a null pointer exception. So to avoid a null pointer exception, you have to use if statements and then say if sort equals null, then assign sort a value like for example descending or use a more convenient way which is to simply provide a default value here. Default value equals descending like this. Okay, so now we know how to make our query string request parameters optional or required and we know how to assign them a default value. Let's continue. 